I spent over 10k attending a four days event. I flew over from Europe all the way to the US to attend Agency Founders, one of the biggest agency and founders events out there. Was it worth it? Did I waste my money? What were my best learnings? Let's dive into it. So good morning, we just arrived at the airport in Barcelona and we're flying to Atlanta today. Super excited about agency founders. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're heading now first into the airport lounge and I'm gonna take off. So we had a cool flight with a business class to be able to sleep a little bit. Then we arrived and directly played Top Golf. That itself was super epic, arriving on the first day and then organizing directly with a bunch of other guys. Good morning, VIP day today, day one starts. Yesterday we already had the VIP dinner, super good stuff. Eddie, Ashton Shanks, other guys at the VIP dinner was super fun. And today we're gonna start actually with go-kart. Really warmly dressed here already because it's gonna be freezing outside. Super excited for this, let's dive into it. We had fun on that first VIP day, did go-kart actually uh, won one time the other time i lost because i had a bad card then super good mastermind sessions i mean that itself was already pretty epic and lots of networking and just if you come to such an event and you have vip days before that like one two days where you do masterminding and you just talk about vip stuff like the biggest challenges in your business that was already super exciting there were a bunch of heavy hitters in that room so highly can recommend to do that and join vip days if you have some of those all right guys day two this is where the official event starts just got a workout in you can see also rocking the nose strip and now we're heading down to breakfast and then already the sessions start super excited eddie ashton's gonna start and then cole gordon's gonna speak super excited for that one so let's get it event speeches started cole gordon started cole is amazing his energy on the stage when it comes to sales super good stuff I mean, I actually learned a lot from him, met him in person, we talked a little bit and yeah, he shared lots of valuable things about sales, how to optimize your sales, build a sales team, uh, how to manage your team. So very powerful nuggets there from him. In general, one of the biggest learnings I had when it comes to sales at the event is that you got to have high standards for yourself first and for your team and culture. And with that high standard A player culture, you will then attract A player salespeople because they have to fit your culture. And if they're not an A player, they have to be weeded out if they're not a good fit. Then next up was Gary Bird, super powerful learnings about building culture, hiring. This guy is super successful building his own business with like tons of employees. And for Gary Bird, I can tell you like, he shared cool tools like the nine box matrix, how to evaluate your employees, how to build better culture, like cool tools like caught being awesome. That's something we're implementing ourselves right now, which means that every day, every week on the team meetings, you're actually celebrating one person that you caught being awesome that lived in line with her company values. So highly recommend that one super good speech as well. Then we had good lunch, always super good food there, always dialed in healthy. Then we had more speeches by D Dang. I uh, know the guy myself, like finally great to meet him in person. Then we had a good speech by Brian Bird, who gave a lot of good insights as well. And one of the biggest insights I got from both these and Brian Bird speeches were in order to build a successful business, you have to be a good leader. And you don't have to be like this boss who tells people what to do, but you actually have to be a good coach and empower the team by asking smart questions. That way you make sure, of course, that you are dialed in, you empower the team, you're more like the person in the background to make sure they have everything they need and they take ownership and can solve problems by themselves. Both of them, Dee as well as Brian Bird, incredible guys have built incredible businesses, so it was super epic to learn from them. Then more networking in the evening, like super good food again, super fun. And then on the next day, we had also an amazing speech from uh, Joel about content creation, how to build personal brand, go viral on social media, how to get clients by using YouTube and building like a content and authority funnel there. Then we had a speech by Ashton Shanks about increasing your capability and capacity as a leader to lead your team better. It's all about, you know, starting with yourself first. And then he shared like lots of prioritization and other strategies. 
And then afterwards, the man himself, Eddie Malouf, shared how they're adding 200k new monthly recurring revenue every single month. That was powerful as well. We had also Jana Lee talk about operations. That was a super powerful speech actually because she talked about as well how to build that A player team, make sure you get out of the operations and how to empower them more with the right expectations. As you can see, it's all related to you being a good coach and setting the right systems in place for your team so they can thrive and finding the right people and putting the right people in the right seats. We had a speech by Cody Jefferson, this super inspiring dude, learned a lot from him. Ask yourself better questions and level up the standards you have for yourself. These were my biggest takeaways from him. And so guys, the whole event, was it worth it? I can tell you definitely it was worth it. If you ever consider going to an event like Agency Founders or something similar, I highly recommend it. Why? Because the network of people you meet there, they're worth it 100 times the connections you make and even some small ideas and nuggets you get that you can implement into your business can immediately give you an ROI again. And additionally, don't forget the power of network, connecting with people. There are a bunch of guys I connected with that I'll make podcasts with, build connections with, learn from and build connections that compound further down the line. So if you also go to events, I'd be curious, what are the top events that you go to as a founder, e-com agency, whatever it is you're in, comment that below curious and I'm going to keep you updated in the next videos on the next events I'll be going to as well. So if that was helpful and you want to see me do more breakdowns and vlogs of events like that, then definitely subscribe to this channel. Don't miss out on any more of these videos and maybe I'll see you at one of the next events as well.